the vampire smiles and we are off to the races. Let's go. Oh, guys, I want to show you this real quick. Um, last episode, I talked about the moves where they acquire. There's actually a move list. It shows you everything from sick launch to vulture grab to skewer drop. And apparently, we can do everything right from the get-go, you know, at least with these weapons. There's a saw, apparently, we're going to pick up later. Um, but the ceiling thing, blood angel, we can do that from the ceiling. So we'll try to get that in this episode if we can do so. But let's see if we can climb up here. Ah, hoping to be able to get up that wall, but when we run from mid-air, I don't think we can actually run, which is kind of strange. But... Whatever, we'll play with the moveset that we have. There we go, okay. Boom, okay, so yeah, you can slash off the wall like that, then. You have an enemy near you. It kind of does like a little bomb dive, which is pretty cool. Pretty nifty indeed. Y right now does nothing, so apparently that's what's going to be put into place once we get the saw. Now we're going through this alien ship, Prison of Doom. Lots of weird ninja guards with Prison. I didn't expect to find this insanity on the Prison ship, although Prison ship in... Uh, is that Mass Effect 2, where you picked up, what is her name, crazy beast girl, she's psycho, and I'm blank, this always happens, every time I need to think of a character name, I'm totally blank, but her ship is insane, there's all sorts of demons and monsters and robots, what is her name, gosh, the, the biotic girl, she had no hair, from Mass Effect 2, someone let me know in the comments, I'm forgetting, hopefully we're getting close to the escape, the music, well, it is cool, it's kind of like going on and on and on, repeating over and over again, see some changing music hopefully in later levels. Uh-oh. The Warden, Ivan Howe's Pain Administrator. Okay. This guy looks crazy. He's got a giant knife or something. He does like the same attacks as the last guy. Oh, well. oh he had punches as well. Gotta watch out for that. Very dangerous. Okay, so he's pattern based but again, it's kind of skill. Like, you have to do your dodges and all that. Um, I'm just impressed by the fact that I haven't really died that much. I've died, what, once? It's not bad. He's, he's strong. He's got, got this punch nonsense. I think I'm gonna dodge him until I get a better better attack set because oh gosh, he's it's pretty tough. All right, now we can go in for some attacks while we're doing that thing. Do our blood walk. As he walks over towards this German. I just picture him as a German warden. Probably not, but he looks doesn't look German to you. He's like a psycho German guy. He's done for. He's got the veil over his face and robotic and an uptight coat with buttons to his. Whoa. Got one last blow before he died. He's got some oodly goodlies falling out of his body there. We're back into the hospital. What is that saying? Something clean here? Clean here, whatever that means. Back in the chair. Everything is clean here, I guess. Okay, now we're like flying. Get yeah, behind this patient. What is going on? Everything is clean. Nightmare again. Smile! This is the vampire smile. Crazy vampire. It's taking over his body. Level complete. Ivan Howe's space prison. Not too bad. Seems like we did pretty well. We only died once. I'm impressed. I'm proud. Golf clap for Ghost Robo. And uh, who continues the story? We can be the dishwasher. Oh, I guess we were the prisoner there. So now we get to pick. Huh. The prisoner or the dishwasher. Well, let's. Why don't we switch the dishwasher just for something different this level? Let's, let's do that. Who continues the story? I'm wondering if we can switch each level. Chef and I blew up the world. It was too disease. Cyborg poison blood infected everything. We hope that free life could flourish here on the moon. But this is quickly becoming our last stand. Okay. There are three men who build a new civilization here, but they've become corrupted. Signs point to one thing. The cyborg plague has infected our leaders. That's why I'm here. To cut off the serpent's head. What? This game is crazy. Okay, now we're the dishwasher. He's got, like... Different moves apparently. Okay, we can. He has like switchable weapons. He's got like machetes. <laughs> okay, and with his samurai sword. What I was saying earlier, the connection between the golf clap and real life is that the Masters are currently going on. And while I'm not the hugest golf fan, I like watching the Masters. Sort of in the same way I like watching games. I kind of equate them to the same thing. Like watching games online um, on YouTube reminds me of watching golf because it's not so much like. It's not the most, I don't know, 
For some people it probably is, but to, for me it's not the most incredibly exciting thing in the world. Like, oh my god, there's so much action! It's more like you're enjoying sort of the methodical nature, the, the expertise that you're witnessing. And watching someone play a game, going through the story, watching someone golf and do really well, it's kind of, kind of, there's, there's some odd parallels in my mind. Helper bot shops are rogue vending robots where you can buy food and upgrade your weapons. Okay. Hmm, moon bread. Parcel restores HP. We don't have the money for anything. Restore your magic skulls by one, whatever that means. Eating kitten vitamins will make your health regenerate for a little while. Increase your blade attack, health, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever that means, I don't know. Um, let's see. Does he have a different move list? Shift lifter, yeah, he's totally different. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. You know what I'm gonna do? Check this out. We're gonna do something crazy. Some some live changing on the fly. We're gonna go to single player. We're gonna go back, and I wanna see if I start the prisoner again. Okay, it's... Is it different or is it going to be the same level? Lunar Waste, is it the same level? Let's see. Awake? What's in my arm? Did the woman in my nightmare do this? Okay, is this a girl or a guy? I have no idea. Maybe it's a girl. Maybe? I don't know. A cat. Cat! He's thinking the same thing I did. Mew. Don't cats say meow, not mew? Paka. Okay, so, maybe this is the girl, I don't know. Maybe, kind of, sort of. You got a machine arm somehow, <laughs> what? You can use your machine arm in saw mode with Y. Pull up a messy kill with Y. Most importantly, have fun, whoa! Okay, so when we exit this room, what happens? I think we're in the same place, so it's just different campaigns. That's awfully interesting. I didn't know if they were gonna be, you know, like, oh, different levels, but it looks like it's just different storylines. So we'll stick with this crazy arm person. Omodo Bank, epicenter of all the wealth on the moon, led by one Baron Quentin Omodo. He rose like a shadow when our planet was washed in flames. His passion has been control. His threat was only me. He threw me in prison to save humanity. Here's my first mark. Beautiful. For the emotional scenes, I will be quiet. For the ones that seem to just give us a little bit more background, I think I will narrate them for you. Here's the helper bot. So, apparently, two campaigns, same level, slightly different story. We'll stick with the one it intends us to go with, I guess, which is this checker dude or whoever it is. Same weapon, same everything. Except increased conviction attack as opposed to the slasher one. Oh my, what's this guy in the foreground? Come back here, foreground man. And we got a flying cat with us, which is always appreciated and awesome. Let's see if we can go up here. Anything special? Let's see. Got to figure there's gotta be some craziness up here. Any like hidden power up? Uh oh. Apparently not. Some more skull dudes! And this time, the demon robot with green eyes. Try to do one of those out. That was a soft finish for you. <laughs> Alright, let's try to do one more on this thing. It's firing the bullets at us. The dishwasher guy has the sword and like the machete. Dual machetes, which is kind of cool, but I don't know, there's something interesting about it. She seems a little bit more nimble, perhaps? I don't know. It could be crazy. I could be totally insane out of my mind. Use that saw and machine arm somehow. Like, the game is totally incongruous and maybe it makes what flows all over the screen. Maybe it make more sense if we played the first one. I, I somehow think that that's not the case. I think this game is just psycho. I think the people that made it are crazy. But I kind of like Blood Warp more than just like Black Mist Warp, which is kind of what the dishwasher guy had. We go this way? Even though it told us to go down? It's down. We can always come back up, I guess. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Left, right. Uh oh. Zombie skeleton sweet. I think it's weird that they would set you up with two campaigns and, and call it the dishwasher when it seems like all intentions are that you play as this Yuri dude chick. I'm beginning to think it's more of a girl than it is a guy because she's like nimble and quick and there's like longer hair. I don't know. There's like a woman in her knees and we're getting pretty hearts. So it makes me think that uh, this is the girl. Flick. And I guess it's a good design choice. Have you start off as a new character? She's not like, oh god, that's you just watch it again. This game's just insane. It seems like if there's a downfall of this game, it's going to be repetitive, repetitive level design, repetitive combat rather. And if you're the same guy, it might feel even more repetitive than if we're, oh, we're, we're giving you a new character with some new moves. Like that feels kind of cool. It feels like they kind of did one for you and, and you know, upgraded the game a little bit for the sequel. Never get our way into a room. Uh oh, more. 
more space demons and skull space demons and some more machine oh, I thought that was I didn't see that guy behind me. We're about dead now. Ah dead. Continue, okay. Alright, whatever. Second death, we got overwhelmed in this tight space. Okay, so I guess I'm still learning how to handle, like I said, how do you handle when you have like two enemies at once? How do you handle that? Let's try to get one of these wall crusher moves, let's see. Ah! They have to be in a very specific spot. There we go, that was pretty good. Pretty good right there. These guys come from the ceiling and do everything to ruin your lives, ruin your days. I hope you can hear the buttons. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I really like hearing the buttons in games, especially games where you're pressing a lot of buttons like this. I don't know, there's something just oddly, oddly like retro sort of about hearing the buttons, and, and I kind of like it. So I, I hope, first of all, I hope you can hear it. Second of all, I hope if you are hearing it that you like it. Um, I do. I like hearing buttons in the game. I like hearing the controller moving my hands and moving back and forth. I'm afraid we're gonna die again here very soon. Ah! We're like at super low health. Gain, yes, we got some health back. Slice and dice with our saw. Boom, baby. Good deal. I really like this game. It's really crazy. Oh, a present. Thank God that room was hard. Give us something good to get. Ooh, cloud sword. Okay, so there are gonna be more weapons. Sweetness. We've got the cloud sword. The cloud sword harnesses the power of clouds, and it's nothing to do with anything else, huh? Conviction and cloud sword right bumper. So we can create bigger combos with this like gigantic samurai. Okay, I guess this one's more like a samurai. What do you call this one? Like machete sword, giant butcher sword? I, I don't know. It's pretty crazy though. Let's test it out. With some skeletons! I like our flying cat. I think I want to be this real vicious a flying cat. Battle. So we can combo it together, go back and forth and switch. Boom, like this. Really. Oh, it's got like electric powers. That's pretty sweet. It is harnessing the power. The power, the power of the clouds. So of course, cloud power, lightning. That makes sense, right, guys? Of course it does. Especially in a game titled Vampire Smile. It's okay. Now this path is open. We've already killed those skeletons there, and some more robot demon guys. I hope the uh, help them keep the enemy variety up, because the, the last thing you want in a character action game is be fighting green robots with glowy skulls over and over again for the next three hours. Um, but I think that. Typically, 2D games aren't that exciting to watch. I don't know, like, just when I was young, I didn't really like watching them. It wasn't until the 3D era that I really got into watching people play games. Um, but there's something oddly appealing about watching 2D games on YouTube. I know a lot of people do, like, Mario World and Mario Hacks, and for some reason, there's something just yummy about watching those games be played, and I think it's the same here. It looks so good in the YouTube window at such a high resolution. Got a moon bread. And it's just, I don't know, they're, they're cool to follow and watch. Like, it's, it's, this game, pretty intense, but still, 2D is, like, easy on the eyes. There's no, you're not gonna find much issue with, like, frame skipping or, or anything like that. It seems like it's, it's pretty good at recording in a clear, fine fashion. You can destroy force fields with the cloud sword. Okay, let's charge it up here. Okay, whoa, that's not the cloud sword. Here we go. Boom! All right. Nicely done. So we have this, like, charge of electric slizzle move. Sizzle, slizzle, my nizzle, snake izzle, welcome to the fizzle, samurai, protizzle, and I think with that, goodbye, izzle, thank you very much for watching, until next episode, we'll see you later!